So I'm walking down here. I don't want to walk down here. I have to um go go um on Monday from the shelter because they said my time is up. December 5th, I have to leave from here. Um, I tried to ask her could I have more time to stay here due to the fact I'm working on my housing arrangements and I have an appointment coming up and she still said no, I can't stay there. So I don't know what my next move is going to be because I have nowhere to go and I'm going to take my stuff to my storage room. And I really don't have no way to carry all that stuff so I had to call that guy up the perverted one um just know that he's taking me to my storage room which I don't want him to but I have no choice I told him like well I need you to take me to my storage room like Monday and drop me off and that's it and he was like okay call Sunday um so um I would do that. Um and then that I'd have to find somewhere what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna go to his house because I don't wanna be around him. Um I know how he is, like he's perverted. Like he'll act cool one minute and then he'll act funny the next because he's not getting nothing out of me. And that's how the guy acts. And I tried to record it on the other video. So like, this is what I have to go to, go through, being on the streets, not having nobody else, resources, no churches or nothing like that, no church people or nothing. The only people that helped me online was Diana and stuff like that. It's not just money-wise, it's just like, people calling me out the courage and stuff like that and helping me get to my situation but I don't know I have to find a place soon I got applied for my um my housing appointment the 15th the one that's for um the homeless people due to my situation for people like me so I have an appointment coming up and I have to figure out too how I'm going to get there because it's so like a distance out here and so much money to get out here um, it's actually hard to get out here, um, but I'm going to come out here, even if I got to pay $70 to come out here, because that's how much it costs. Um, and they don't really have no buses that go out here, unless I'm going to take the Greyhound station, but I'm going to have to probably take it a day ahead of time, because I want to be on time to my appointment. And this is scary. What did they do to the parking lot again? Is there somebody in there? I'm not even gonna look. It's gonna freak me out. Um, I have to do that. I wasn't expecting that soon, like, when she called me on the phone, I was like, your apartment's just staying in that. And so, I will go out to that, um, and everything. And then I have to find an apartment soon. Um, I hope to find something soon being that I'm on this program um because I think it helps you more you have more options and areas I don't have to stay exactly in this area um Crossville Tennessee which I didn't want to stay out here in this area because I didn't like um I don't have a car and it's hard like for me. And the area that I wanna go to, there's like stuff around and stuff, like stores around where I can easily like walk to stuff. Um, 
other than that i've been spending time at the shelter cooking for the other people and helping them out um trying to spend my days wisely there because i'm not gonna be there no more so i might as well cook for people and help them um other than that yeah i've been good um they moved some new people in there and there's been some crazy stuff going on there but yeah they um i probably gonna tell you about it when I leave from there because it's best to tell you about it They have a um so much stuff going on. I hate the fact that I have to walk out here. Um I just hate it man. I can't upload my videos here anywhere I have to go I wish I would have got the apartment in and um it cost six something dollars I could have got that apartment then but what if I think I'm gonna get my housing there is apartment for 600 but it was a little much money I have to like find something bad man and it's real cold out here it's probably like warmer during the day and then it's cold at night real cold at night But a friend said, like, um, he's going back to California to stay. I guess he's going back to California. He said there's a lot of services out there. So maybe I'll move to California next because I don't like it here. I know. I like it here, but I don't like how they treat the homeless people. People that doesn't have much. And they're not, like, looking resources for the people that need to find apartments out here they should have like more resources out here and it's less resources for the home people that's struggling on the street and stuff like low-income people like me um and then they look down on you because you're outside homeless um and they send you to jail if you're like sleeping outside like literally and i don't know what people are supposed to do that doesn't have um or lost their homes or on the street out here because they want to send people to jail and say yo you can't sleep outside well why didn't they make any more resources um more shelters for the people that's like homeless they're like looking down on people i don't know it's a crazy law out here but I'm not camping on nobody's ground. So they had no right watching me like that because I was just sitting in the park during the day and just leaving, walking around at night and stuff. Like I'm not literally camping outside. Like they have no excuse for that. The first time I came to that park, it's like real strange, man how they was acting the cops and the people said yeah they mess with everybody or it's so weird but I gotta go it's freezing and I can't hold this phone no more
So yeah, I was gonna move to Kentucky before I even came out here. And I don't know why I didn't move to Kentucky because they have cheap homes out that way. to find a guy friend um like a boyfriend like a guy that wants to get married a Christian man that's into guys and stuff like that but we really don't want guys girls like me because I was talking to this guy and we were having a good conversation as friendship I thought he was my friend he's not my friend yeah he cut my friend off because he found a girl he went back to his girlfriend. I'm like, wow. Well, I've been using that um, Facebook dating, and it hasn't been real good for me. I only found like, how many did I find? Only like two guys with the same name, Nathan. One's in Kentucky, and the other one's here. The other one in Kentucky is like real, real handsome guy. Like, I would like to get to know him more, but I don't know all that subject. Hopefully. But I want to, like, be in a relationship, like, so bad. So, yeah, pray for my situation. Bye.